Today we're here to check out Epic Bob, Epic Flower, an imposter coming on. What's this one doing? <laughs> and then we've got Epic Gel Billy as well. So let's have a look at all these epics right now. My goodness, Epic Flower, it is coming out of nowhere. I, I just don't even know where this guy came from, honestly. <laughs> And I'm excited to see because Epic Barb and Flower, it feels like a really nice pair to come along. We're inside of a monster family. I thought I was going to be beheld to a new Epic there when I wasn't quite ready, but turns out not. Right, we're on Ember Island, but this is not the island that I'm getting my Epics on today. Ember Island can be put aside for now. <laughs> let's go on over to Fire Haven. That's the one where we want as Epics are. Right, let's have a look. Where's his torches? Right, like the torches MPG. <laughs> Get a grip. Come on. <laughs> Okay, let's... I got spin wheel. Can you leave me off? Okay, I don't even know what the start of this video is turning out like. Right, let's put his brains into gear now and go in the market and have a look at his first epic. So, I think we're going to have a look at Epic Flower today now. We've had teasers, of course, for Bob and Gel Billy. We knew about them, but flowers come out of nowhere. We usually only get one epic a month. Are we... Are we... Is he here? <laughs> I thought I was going to see it straight away. Let's go to the side. Oh, what is this? Oh, it looks like Bob, kind of. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, this guy looks like it's from Dawn of Fire, kind of. Look at the cactus at the back. It looks like he's... Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bob and Flower in the Monster Family as well. So maybe we're going to get a name for that today. That's going to be really cool. I hope so. This is a really perfect pairing, honestly. And that means we're getting closer to Firehaven Epic Box, which we all need. <laughs> So I'm happy about that. Right, let's have a look at what we have then here. There's no stronger evidence of Flower and Bob's family ties than the respective Epic Bombs. Oh, this is going to be really cool. I'm personally hoping that Gade looks like Regjub. I want that so bad. Gade is one of my favorites. This kind of perspective here, I love this. I'm going to be so excited. Let's have a look then at the rest of it. <laughs> the already fistly double element fire monsters as arms and torso are covered in assorted succulents reminiscent of the triple elementals body mark. Oh, yes, we've got the cactus at the back for Bob. Besides the considerable weight and bulkiness they add to the epic flower's physique. Oh, yes, but we've got some chunk inspiration. The spiky growths also pose a risk of poking others and itself in the eye. Oh, no, as it contorts and flexes. What's more, they're incredibly prickly to the touch. So it's not uncommon to at any given moment see an epic flower with bandages on its hands and a covered eye while it heals. Although the monster doesn't mind these is being confused for it being tough and intimidating. <laughs> what a rebel. Oh my god, Epic Flower. <laughs> Turned into Bob here and you've gone into the cactus representation. Wow, I would not want to withhold a punch from this guy. Man, he seems tough. Okay, so let me have a look on my website at the combos. So first up, we have Firehaven, which is Bob and Shrub. Wonderful. I had to wait to make this so I actually had the combo. <laughs> Right, we can make it now, though. Have I just got that first try? I have got that first try. <laughs> what? Wait, how? I, I don't know. Let's go, though. Oh, man, man, look, he's unparalleled. Right, Flower, go away. I want to know the name behind the monster family of Bob and Flower. If we don't get that today, what world is this? I don't understand, personally, how we could not. It has to be in Epic Bob's bio, because it's too much of a perfect opportunity, man. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, I can see all of the bandages now. I couldn't see them that much before. <laughs> oh, there's so much liveliness and plants on this one. Wow, th this is actually quite cool. I want a comparison between the two. I I I'm going to look away. I'm looking away because I know that Epic Bob is on there right now. And I'm not ready just yet to look at it. Let's place it down. Oh, oh wow. Look at the fists on this. Oh, it's going to play. Perfect timing. Oh, wait. I, I misjudged. <laughs> it plays a little bit later. Oopsie daisies. <laughs> It looks kind of like a plush in slower boots. Oh, the boots. Never mind. Wow, it's so cool that we've got both. I like that a lot because it means we can get Firehaven Epic Warbox sooner. I think the monster handlers kind of realized that they weren't releasing the Firehaven ones and were like, let's just release two today. <laughs> I don't know why this feels like a super weird comparison to me, but it kind of reminds me of the adult celestials by I'm taking in all of these elements because there's just so much going on on this design. I have to get flower and rare flower out for a comparison because I need to see the difference. I think it's quite hard to see with this one for some reason when I'm looking at it just generally. Oh, yes. Oh, nowhere near as epic wallaby though, man. <laughs> this one just, it kind of has 
that many elements on it like an adult celestial. That's why I'm feeling that, I think. With this one, it feels like there's a lot going on, but at the same time, it is kind of your flower, you know? What you'd expect from this monster. Feels like the natural epics, this one. <laughs> What do you guys think? I think that was pretty cool myself. Okay, flower and rare flower. I'm gonna quickly put you inside of the hotel. So I don't think we need loads of hookah <laughs> juga. Roaming around my island right now. Okay, so before we go and get Epic Barb, let's get the rest of the Epic Flowers, get the spree on. And once I've got Barber, I'll just want to focus on Barber. Okay. <laughs> Right, what's the combination for Flower on Psychic Island? It is Ruba and Popette. I don't know why we're on Psychic instead of Light first, but we're doing it. <laughs> Let's hope that we can get this guy straight away again. Ruba and Popette. So why is Popette coming in? I mean, I get Ruba, but <laughs> Popette. I don't get that. <laughs> oh, well, I got it again. Oh, wait, no, that's Ruba. <laughs> I'd got too much good luck getting that first try, I think, last time. I'm about to discover how hard it actually is, I think. Oh, yes, finally I managed to get it. That one was a lot harder, actually, to get this time around. This one, perhaps gonna be made for Psychic Island, I've got to say. Yeah, this one seems like it is. A truly purple colours. Come on, yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> no killing for succulent plants. We love that. <laughs> the monster handler's getting clever, man. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's just so amusing to me that this is supposed to be so much stronger than this flower. <laughs> It definitely conveys that I love the harshness in Flower's personality brought out even more in this one. <laughs> Light Island, final one, man. We will go again and find the breeding combo for Flower. So <laughs> let's go and get that right now. What is it? Light Island, Fiddlement and Gob. Fiddlement. Oh, Fiddlement doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> oh no! I don't think I've got a Fiddlement. Fire expansion extinguished my Fiddlements. What an unfortunate coincidence. Well, I have no Fiddlement. So I'm gonna have to resolve that before I go ahead and get the others. I thought I'd managed to breed them all, but clearly not. I still have some leftovers from Magical Nexus. I, oh, did I say fire expansion before? You guys know I meant Magical Nexus. <laughs> all right, we've managed to get Fiddlement. It has eluded us, but we managed to get it. It's actually really hard. I didn't actually realize until I had set about breeding them again. The magicals, the fires. It's actually hard to start out your island, man. I'm experiencing that on my second account on Steam I've started recently. It's actually a lot harder. Right, when you progress, you forget how hard the, the first stuff is. Getting the n monsters normally. I mean, you get the rares and epics, <laughs> but you forget about the normal ones. So we have Epic Flower, and they're coming is Fiddlement and Gob. Now we've got Fiddlement. I can go ahead and get this guy now. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> I got... <laughs> I got... <laughs> I got a tiny glimpse at Epic Gel Billion. <laughs> but I, I barely saw it. It looked like a party hat. <laughs> Why is this so funny? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I was... <laughs> oh my god. Epic Gel Billy is partying everywhere, man. <laughs> Why am I so in hysterics by that? <laughs> it's just the way it was there. I wasn't actually expecting it, and then I think that kind of took me off guard because of <laughs> oh, It's just the idea of it being a party hat. <laughs> I got a microsecond glimpse at it, right? That was just funny, though. <laughs> Please, if that is as funny as what maybe I think it is, <laughs> that's going to be actually hilarious. Right, Flower has that many tracks on here. It's, it's going to be a lot to listen through. How we... Uh, is this supposed to be like hee hee wow we I'm not wowing right now. <laughs> We've got to listen to a lot of tracks. Maybe, oh, maybe it can be cool though, the plants or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's so many plants on this. If anyone knows the specific plants, please do comment them. Oh. 
Oh, the pad just noticed these worms at the bottom. Ew. Ew. I can't keep my eyes off the worms. <laughs> <laughs> what are these worms? You know, I'm actually excited to watch back my reaction and then the moment that I spot the worms at the bottom. <laughs> I've been looking up here at all of the plants and shrubbery, but man, I didn't quite notice that. <laughs> have those always been there? <laughs> I don't know. Right, let's have a look at Bob now. So, exciting, epic Bob, because I do think we're finally maybe going to get the name of Flower and Bob's family finally revealed, which is going to be awesome. Right, epic Bob, what is the combo? It's flugel and shrub, according to my website. So, let's input that into the breeding structure. Should I have a look inside of the market first? Yeah, let's, let's do that, actually. I want to know the name behind epic Bob's family and epic flowers. It's going to be so cool, finally having that oh here we go is it gonna be like the demagogue <laughs> like what we thought inside of his fear is oh oh it's actually really cute <laughs> It's based on the Demogorgon plant, but this is so cute. Well, this definitely wouldn't have subsided very well alongside Shadow Quad and Ethereal Workshop coming next week. <laughs> oh, God bless it. Look at it. It's adorable. <laughs> We're making it out to be this creepy thing, and it's beautiful, yellow, vibrant. <laughs> That's actually so funny. Look no further than the epic forms of Bob and Flower for irrefutable evidence of the two monsters' genetic connection. Building upon the effervescence of its rare cousin, the epic Bob is practically one big flower. <laughs> Externally, the monster is overall less pointy, but the sharpness of this species is still intact. It just attacks the sense of smell instead of touch. Pungent odor that calls to mind the worst cooking you've ever had is released from its forehead and elbows. And even if you plug your nose, you'll still be a fate. <laughs> Sensing an opportunity, the Epic Bob holds occasional raffles where the prize is a specialized nose guard that blocks out the odor. But only this fire monster knows how to grab. <laughs> that way, monsters still have the opportunity to socialize with it. Justice for Bob. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's not very helpful that only Epic Bob knows how to make these though. <laughs> I've got to say, that prediction that the person did yesterday, the name is eluding me right now. Sorry, it was, <laughs> there was a lot of predictions yesterday, but I'm going to put it on screen. It, it, it actually came really close, I think, to this design. It's a lot more prettier than I would have expected. All of this ooze and mist coming from it, I like that. It's like Grumpire's Shroud, where the shadow mist, you can see it coming from it, which is awesome. Okay, so we have... Chris, Flugel, and then we also have Trub. <laughs> I totally didn't forget that one. There we go. Let's feed you into my Celestials as well for now. How wonderful. It feels like this is actually a great design for Fairhaven and Amber Island. If it's both islands. Well, it's not like as magical as where the kind of fit magical nexus better for the most part. <laughs> I love that, though. Magical Nexus, it feels like its design is for every single magical, even though they still suit their individual islands, which I'm really happy with, honestly. Hang on a minute here, though. I've just realized something. We did not get revealed today towards Flower and Bob's family name. It's literally inside of the bio. Why was that not there, man? Oh, that would have been perfect. It's the perfect day to have that family name be revealed. It, oh, that, that, that actually, that's a bit of a bummer. I hope that we can learn about that soon, because because I definitely want to know. I mean, the, the bio literally hints at it, and then it doesn't quite give it us. That's a bit unfortunate. You know what you guys ought to do in the comments, though? You should comment what you think Bob and Flower's family should be called. The succulent plant spear. <laughs> Something based on succulents. I don't know why that that name rings true inside of my head for these guys. I am now mildly disturbed by Jell Billy. <laughs> What was that the thing that I witnessed earlier? I only took a microsecond glimpse. Is it actually as horrifying <laughs> as what? <laughs> it's a party monster. It's supposed to be cute, bountiful. I, I don't even know. <laughs> That did not draw any kind of Cybop connection. The Cybops basically, if you don't know, if you don't watch my theory video, Cybops basically, Jelbelly is this celebrity role model that they look up to and flabbergast about nonstop. That does not look like it's anything to do with that. It looks like it's an entertainer. I mean, Jamboree. Jamboree's happy about it. But other than that, I don't really know. Man. <laughs> oh, the tail at the back. Wait, is there a tail? I don't know. I feel like this one should have been scarier, to be honest. 
this? Why is it cute? I don't know how that worked, honestly. It's a big shocker to me. Here we are. These are so strange, these epics, though. They don't really feel like they're living up to maybe the other fire epics as much. Mind you, though, know, the other fire epics, like Epic Rumble, they've been so good. Epic Glow looks like a completely different monster. These two, they're cool, but I don't think they quite live up to that, man. Right, Red Bob, I'll make some room on the opposite side so we can have them all in a nice, neat line and witness the... Harmony between every single one. Look at this green mist coming from it. A bit more feminine, this one, isn't it? That's quite nice. So pretty. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can zoom on these creatures very nice and get a look at them all. Oh, it's adorable, isn't it? <laughs> That is so cool, that green mist coming from it. Wow. That kind of shocked me that it came out so sporadically inside of that animation. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. Wow. Let's <laughs> look at epic jellabilly now. Oh, my goodness. Boy, what, what am I in for today? This is going to be a shocker. This one party at. Oh, look at this. What I've just come on to. Epic Bob and Epic Flower. Oh, and they're in the same promotion. That's so sweet. It's somewhat at the same time having them both. I swear down, there is no other reason other than Fire Haven and people box for these guys. <laughs> I want Workshop so bad. Workshop is my favorite thing happening in the game. I need it so bad. Right, anyway, let's have a look. What's his breeding combo for this one? Epic Gel Billy on my site says, Arachulele and Fung Prey. Luckily, those two don't have their epics quite yet, so I can just breed those along. Oh man, I hope they don't put the rare ethereals out again because they always do that when the epics come and it, it makes it so hard. I mean, they're already really, really, really hard. The hardest monsters to breed inside of the game. I don't think we need the chances doubted anymore, to be honest. Oh, what's this? Oh, I've not noticed this before. What's going on? Oh, there's hands in the background of the skin. They've not been there before. What's going on? Has the life formula sky been updated as well? Wait, what? <laughs> Well, I wasn't quite expecting a new update on a skin. The hands there. Oh, so mischievous. The colossals are coming forward. Oh, the spirit of Zaroe. That's quite cool. Look, these hands now. Have those always been there? I don't think so. I would have noticed them by now. I've got this skin on all the time, man. Well, I, I don't know what all that's about, that update. Maybe it's something safe for life formula. But it's awesome to see it anyway. Maybe it's celebrating epic gel Billy and its weirdness. <laughs> All right, I'm not getting this monster, so I'm, I'm going to look at it inside of the market first, and then I'll go ahead and brood it and speed you guys up along to when I'm ready. <laughs> okay, I want to see it. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> it's a magician! Oh, oh, it's a magician. <laughs> look at the eyes. It's not a party hat. It's a wizard hat. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> this one is so cool. This one might be my favorite just because of, of the laughs it brings me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Epic Bob and then Epic Flower. They do not live up to this, man. The Epic Ethereals are somewhere else. I love that. Well, look at the mustache, too. Oh, the tufts that we saw yesterday were these little beard-like things coming from it. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Wow, it looks completely different to normal Gel Billy and Rare one. Wow. Okay, I'm going to read the bio now. If this has cool R as well, this is going to be really cool. Even though very little of them have been explored, there are, in fact, substantial bodies of water water in the pokey dimension and that's where the epic gel billet reside in the aqua sign pause is that what it's on about yeah because that's mentioned in a lot, a lot of bios it's straight and pointed off the cone shell is distinct from the soft gelatinous bodies of other subspecies in the gel billy family in a classic case of rarity one up monster the epic ethereal has three eyes instead of one or two it's a step up matey but they are all in the physiological position where the brain should be. So this monster is understood to actually be more primitive than the others. Some have disputed that this monster is misclassified and only has a superficial resemblance to other gel billies. <laughs> 
is coincidental, but calling out the presence of sensorial tackles <laughs> quickly refutes such claims. Okay. What are stickackles? I don't know. Let's see. Stickackles meaning. Stickackle. Cackle. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Please comment what that means. <laughs> it's a pun on something. Cackle, cackle. Is it because it's funny and it makes me laugh? <laughs> That's the only reasoning I can find with this monster. Oh, I definitely need this now. <laughs> that guy is so funny. We're not had a change up like that maybe since Epic Voodoo. Oh, it's so different. I love this one. It makes me laugh a lot. <laughs> I don't think I've met a rare or epic so far that has actually made me laugh that much. I don't even feel like maybe it's supposed to be funny. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Three-eyed mutants, wonderful. <laughs> I hope Crunchy is that funny man. Rare Crunchy, I would. <laughs> I'd do anything to see that because Crunchy is hands down one of the funniest monsters out there as well. Oh my god, I finally got it. I was starting to get so stressed out. <laughs> I was like, I need diamonds for workshop and I don't really like buying diamonds because I try and get them normally because I like playing the game a lot and I feel like it adds to the experience if you guys know what I mean. But oh my goodness, I got it. <laughs> How many diamonds was I on before? I feel like I've spent thousands. Oh, thank goodness. I think I have enough for workshop. <laughs> thank you, game. Thank you, Monster Hunters, for giving me diamonds as well last time. I didn't know that they, they just sent content creators diamonds. I thought everyone got them. And so thank you so much for that again. I, I genuinely didn't know that I was the only one. So I'm quite thankful for that. And obviously, if I could too, I would send you guys <laughs> them diamonds back. Because I know that you guys, you wanted those diamonds too. Which I saw inside of the comments. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and move. But where, where, where is this gel, Billy? <laughs> I'm not distracted by the fact I actually managed to get. I was genuinely considering just ending the video. <laughs> Because I was like, I want workshop. So, I might just have to leave it there, guys. But no, the show goes on. Right, epic gel, Billy. Oh, boy. Let's go ahead and get this fella then, shall we? It's a little joke. Oh, I'm so excited to see its design in full now. <laughs> oh, look at the legs. <laughs> It's like a king. Oh, it's a wizard. Wow. <laughs> look at it inside of that. Why does that look so funny? <laughs> it's this image. It's just, it's just the whole monster. It's hilarious. I love it. I don't even want to think about getting another one of you, though, for Epic Wobble. I do have to do that as well. <laughs> I'll think about that later. For now, let's focus on the harmonious bliss of this wonderful creature. <laughs> oh, it's transparent. It's back. Oh, that's so cool. Definitely embraces more the plasma and poison elements. Really awesome that it does that. This one is just plasma. This one's poison. But this one's plasma and poison. We finally got that. Oh, its scales change as well. So cool. Look at them. They turn transparent and then come out. It's from the Aqu Slime Pulse, right? Mentioned in Bellow Fish's bio. <laughs> At least I think so. Or maybe some other ocean-like place. That's exciting. More places inside of the monster world. That gets me really excited. Love my law. Come on then, love. Sing your heart out to us. <laughs> I like it, spiky team. <laughs> Oh, that, that's so fun. <laughs> Man, every single bit of it is transparent. I gotta understand how funny that guy is. <laughs> They're just a small, funny dude. Maybe not small. I think they're the biggest epic of heroes so far we wins. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, please make sure to leave a like down below. Also, let me know what your favorite part of this was as well. Also, what the family should be called of Bob and Flower. I can't believe we didn't get it. <laughs> anyway, bye for now. Enjoy a picture, Billy. <laughs>